Welcome back, beefy boys and girls. Uh, I know we've been gone for a long time, but it's because we've been planning and plotting and scheming. And today, we would like to welcome all of you to the first official episode of the Beefy Boys Podcast. Wow! Name pending. We're thinking of some names. We have a couple. We'll throw them by you later. You'll see it in the intro, for sure. Because, yeah. I mean, we have to title it, so. We're thinking maybe the Beef Cast, the, the Meat Locker. Meat Locker. You know, just tell, we, we got a few us, ideas. I, give us ideas and tell us what you like and what you don't. You know, it's been what a year and a half. I think it's been it's been yeah. at least a year. Yeah, it, I mean, you know, life happens. Shit gets in the way, and sometimes, you know, I don't know. We just kind of we're like, fuck it, let's just go get everything we need. Yeah, and I noticed that we're looking at okay, little little insider for you. I don't have speakers for my PC, so if it looks like we're looking up a lot, it's because we're look, looking at the TV and not the camera. Yeah, it's jank. I had to take the label off my bottle so we don't get sued. Oh, yeah. He's just drinking, like, distilled cum. So, I mean, it's, yeah. Back, shout back to Thick Water. Who remembers that? I sure do. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I still have the bottle. It's on top of my fridge. Stop looking at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude. All right. So, today, we have plenty of things to talk about, but... How about you go ahead and start us off? I want Oops. to. I want to discuss... Just, you know, what we want to do with this, where we want to go with this, why we've been gone. Just an explanation to the... Can to I the, tell the backstory the of how this all kind of started? Yeah. Okay, so way back when, uh, in the year 1973, we <clears throat> good both... Good year. Good year. Lots of coke. Mm. We worked at the... Uh, we worked at a similar gas station to, like, a lot of the... Oh, similar, Jesus. Oh, boy. A chain gas station. And um, I think it started as a bit... Like, I, we would just get new drinks at our gas station and be like, oh, you know, here Mount we are made reviewing. A, Mountain Dew made a gingerbread Mountain Dew. The Mountain that was the start of it all. <laughs> the ginger. That was really what started this, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, because I remember I just got out of work and I had my blue spray foam covered hoodie on. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. But it started as a bit, and then I think one day we were just like, fuck it. And we, you know, after finally getting a PC... And now a mic and a cam, you know, it's... it's Shout all... out to Razor. Razor sponsors. We're not... Okay, I was about to say... I thought, I thought you were going to say, like, this is Razor sponsored. I was like, no. no, it is not. No, it's not. Defamation. But, Tubes, you said you had some topics. You said you had some things you wanted to talk about. How would you yeah. start us off with that? I was saying we could talk about, like, you know, just where we've been, what we've been up to, and why it's taken us so long to give the loyal viewers what they want. I thought you were going to continue off that, no, but you're I just, ju you just, yeah, I mean, uh, around the time Beefy Boys ended, I was, ended, that was season one, <laughs> well, season one ended, my we'll, we'll get back to it, <laughs> we, uh, we were both kind of in between jobs, it was weird how it, they both hit at the same time, yeah, we were both there, so we were just really broke, and then we made cookies in a pan with no eggs, and ate all of them, and got really sick, can I have that pan back, where's my grandma's pan? My mom bothers me about it every single time I come over here, and she knows. Oh, do you think we should fix the lighting or something? Can or? I have the pan back? Yeah, what pan? Anyway, well, we've been, we've just been, you know, trying to find ourselves. And you know what? I think we finally found ourselves, and we wanted to come back to you people. The people of... All 38 of you that have tuned in for every episode. Every person that asks me, when's it coming back? Talking to you, Gabe Hellman. You, Gabe Hellman. Is that a free shout out? It's a free shout out to my boy Gabe Hellman. He checks me out at Casey's every day. He checks you out. Love you, Gabe Hellman. All right. <clears throat> but you know, we decided to come back, and if this does well, and we don't, you know, just put it off for a long time, maybe we'll make this. No, nah, I don't know about a I'm, weekly I, thing. I, we've but. got the gear now. I'm going to forcefully drag your ass if I have to into, the, into the living room. You know what? Because, you know, like, even if no one watches this, it's nice to have. It's nice to have. It's memories. It's it's a, it was this dumb little bit that went on for too long. Yeah, so. we kind of have this thing where we do bits and then they get become reality. <laughs> like Sonic. Like Sonic. Like Sonic. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about Sonic, but hey, Sonic. Um, So... Shit, what have you been up to, Tubes? Why don't you tell everybody what you've been doing recently? Working for me. Working for me. I recently switched to third shift. 
uh, enjoy the hours a lot more. Oh yeah, we're um, we're both night shift guys, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I enjoy the hours a lot more. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a lot more bearable for me. Basically, fuck around for five hours and then actually work for two. Dude, the amount of times that like, oh my god, I could could be doing more probably, but sometimes I'm just like, I gotta fucking pee. And, I'm just, and I'll just spend like 10 minutes in there when I probably shouldn't. But hey, it's a, it, it, it is what it Who's is. Who's going to stop you? Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop him? <clears throat> if you haven't you also gonna? noticed, the sh- there's shadowing. Of, there's a mark on my hand. Okay. Um, we both lost weight. We, uh, we did a meth cycle for a while, and it really, you know, it took a lot of, it took a lot of weight off of us. So it changed just a lot. And um, Toops' teeth are... You know, Thank you. Kinda... they're they're kind of falling in the back apart a little bit. But hey, we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, but hey, you look good, uh, man. Thank you. You too. I didn't hit you that hard. You kind of did. Okay. Oh, unless I'm weren't. We'll see. What? Mm-hmm. Huh? Um. But so today we wanted to have a, we have a few topics to talk about. Okay. And I wanted to know what you think about today's gaming landscape. Gaming when it comes okay. to the price of games going up, the whole thing about, you know, games release broken, finish, or finish later. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you think, like, any games that came out recently that you have a gripe with, any games that came out recently that you think are doing well, even though the modern gaming landscape is not great? Modern, no. It's the, the, what I see as an issue is, like, the games <clears throat> are being pushed and not released, but at the same time, or, wait, what? Games are being pushed out to be released, but not finished. Meth. Uh, it seems like a lot of games are now very... It's, a, it's either pay to win, or they're just... They're not worth it. Like, I didn't play Cyberpunk. I don't care anyone who's like, Cyberpunk's one of the, the most innovative games. It's good now. They it's good now. They fixed it, guys. Now. That's okay. It's too late. I don't care. I don't care. Cyberpunk was flopped. Uh, I'll be real. Halo Infinite was okay. Tube still only played the first mission, and I completed the campaign. And let me tell you, I would have probably been off the same way the whole time. Just, I don't know, it just didn't hook me. It, it's not Halo Three. It was all right. <laughs> it's not Halo Three, exactly. Shout out to you, Carter. Um, shout out to Halo Three. Shout out Halo Three. Shout out Master Chef. But you know. I think game prices are kind of hopping and everyone's slowly switching to PC or they're getting consoles that can keep up with the PCs. And that's the thing. Consoles are only going to go up in the future too. I mean, you look at you look at some of the new, like, when it comes to the VR landscape, mm-hmm. the new Oculus headset that came out, uh, the Quest Pro, that thing's like $1,500 and it has about the same amount of battery life. And it's, it's meant to, like, they one of the main features was that you could like see real life like actually and also have like an overlay kind of like the new apple thing that they have going on the apple glass um i don't but it's only got two hour battery life but they want people to actually be able to use them for meetings like you know because i guess the pandemic's still going on but they want people to be able to use them for meetings but there's no but, like, most meetings take at least two hours. What are you going to do, sit there and plug your fucking headset in while you're at a meeting? Not just that, but a lot of the doors have reopened for a lot of businesses. They're letting people back into their works, even if you're at, like, a work-at-home kind of person on your computer, on your PlayStation 4, however you fucking do it. But I'll, I've, I've got a, I've got a question. Okay. Do you think that you will inevitably switch to PC, or do you think you'll try and be a – really? You think I'm going to be a console gamer. I mean, I know it sucks paying 70 bucks for a game and not being able to, like, I have a Switch. I don't fucking play it. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I bought Tears of the Kingdom. I didn't, I haven't touched it. I played it a little bit. I thought it was funny that people were crucifying Koroks and <laughs> making giant mechs, and I wanted to try that. But I, I just. How do you crucify a mech? You crucify a Korok, a little green guy. They glue him to a post, and then they light it on fire. And they put it on a cart and they drag it through the city, they drag it through the town. Wow. Yeah, people. That's like, oh, I can make shit in this so, game. Let me make a live crucifixion. So they they take the little dude out the mech. No, the little dude's not in the mech. People build mechs to to fight enemies with. To fight the little dudes. Not the little dudes, Koroks. Little dudes like the hob the hobblings. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anyone understands what you're talking about. Probably not. But needless to say. 
I choose what games I play carefully now. Most of the games I'm playing right now are free to play games. Like I have, I don't. I, I have like you know I have Game Pass. Yeah. Most of the games I play are either free with Game Pass or just free in general, because I mean you look at games like like Black Ops Two. It's still sixty dollars. So yeah, actually. Man. Yes. No shot. Yes, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, still $60. Jamie, get on that. Um, it's on sale. Is it on sale? How much? 15 15 Black Ops 2 is on sale for 15 Oh, yeah, this is going to be... Call of Duty's on sale because of the Activision deal. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I forgot. They, they bought, bought Activision. Activision. Jinx, you owe me a kiss on the lips. No. <laughs> you wouldn't. The camera's um, on. But it's just like... With, especially with Nintendo, they <laughs> you or readjust at the same time. <clears throat> especially because of Nintendo, like Super Mario Odyssey, which was a launch title for the Switch, is still sixty dollars. Fuck that. See, I thought about buying a Switch because like Smash Bros. I fucking love Smash. Bros. Okay. You get one friend that has Smash Bros. <sighs> and that's all you need. I have Smash Bros. on my Switch. I have all the DLC. I have all the fighter packs. That's what you do. Yeah. And then you nobody else buys Smash Bros. Unless you want to play online, but what's the fucking point of that? As long as one person have Smash has have the fuck. <clears throat> as long as one person has Smash Bros out of a friend group though, like it, it works out pretty well cuz you can all just be like, "Hey, Smash." And then ever they're like, "Yeah, sure." And then you come over with a box of condoms and they're so confused, you know. It's like, "Oh, you talk about Smash Smash Bros." I was like, "Okay, yeah." Yeah, I uh, got that confused a bit. Um yeah. But it's just one of those things where, I don't know, the gaming landscape is weird right now. I wouldn't say it's bad, but mm-hmm. it's definitely getting there. Okay, what is your current favorite game, then? Favorite game right now? Like, something you can just hop into. Right now, it'd probably be, probably be uh, Apex or Smite right now. Yeah, you have, back on Smite. I have a love-hate relationship with Smite. I will get on that game, and I will play it for a week, and then I won't touch it for a month. Right now, I'm in that week. I'm loving it. <laughs> Just grind. It's like that I'll Minecraft. Love every week. second of it. Hey, I just want to mention, by the way, Dylan or Jamie, whoever, uh, fuck. Guy in the chair. The guy in the chair. We, no one's been <clears> on the realm since I bought a realm. Like everyone I wanted. Told to, you it was gonna everyone happen. wanted to play Minecraft. Yeah. Everyone's like, "Gutch, get back on." You know, I haven't slept because I've been working night shift, and they're like, "Gutch, just get on Xbox." So then I get on Xbox to get on the world, so other people can get on the world, and then all these stupid. Okay, and then everybody gets, you know, I buy I buy it as a realm, so I don't have to be online, and people can just get on. And how'd that go, Jamie? I've been on. Have you? Yes. Okay, we'll do that tonight then. We'll get we'll get a few hours in because I'm not paying ten ninety nine a month to get Bro, my. All we're gonna do is just dig a hole. Yeah, we've got like this big thirty six by thirty six hole that's just going straight down. Um, there was a crater, and I was just like, hole. So. That's fair point. But I, I hate to admit it, I've been kind of falling back on older games. Like, uh, what do you say? For Honor has been out since, like, what, 2017, 2018, probably? Yeah. And if you don't know what For Honor is, don't look it up because it's a waste of your damn time and mental brain. It just, it's just a hit. <laughs> Ducks are flying over or something. Um... <laughs> I thought 4th of July was the other weekend. <laughs> Got fireworks going off. But no, I get what you mean. Like, yeah. It's just, I feel like I've been playing a lot of older games or games that are getting DLC. Like, I've been playing, I went back to Power Wash Simulator because they recently got that SpongeBob DLC and I wanted to try it out. Mm-hmm. It's still, it's, it's not bad. Like, Is it? It, it honestly feels like a mod that someone made and but, then the developers are just like, yeah. The issue I see with the DLC from, I haven't played it, but from what I've heard, it sounds like it has a, like a campaign. Like I ain't it's just like here. A bit of a story. Like bro, it's I ain't like here the for the story. Bit give of a give story. me, give me the pressure washer, the funny blue suit that your character wears, and give me the chum bucket in like four hours. It did not take four hours. Okay, well, maybe it would have taken four hours if I was doing it solo. Yeah, well you, yeah, but off topic. But we're regardless, gaming landscape is weird right now. I'm still a gamer. I will always be a gamer. But it's just one of those things where Amen, bro. I don't like to see what I love slowly go bad. This has been a very deep beginning for a first episode. Like for a pilot. Yeah. We're just like. Well, I mean, it's just we're, we're talking about just what's on our minds. And what's on our mind right now is I hope that the gaming landscape 
starts to, you know, re- developers start to realize that I can't just release shit half done and then fix it later. That's kind of what Disney's problem is right now. I need the sales team to realize I don't want to drop $70 on a fun game and then drop $30 for DLC pack one through seven, you know, and they're each like somewhere between 30 to $15 destiny Two. destiny motherfuckers be like, and then I bought all of them and we haven't played destiny since I don't, I don't know what's been going on, but is, 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 I mean, I, that shit fell off. I fell off. I fell off. I fell off destiny. So you did hard. fall off. I bought, I bought the fucking season pass to get all four of them. I, I ain't fucking touched it. Have you completed it at least? No. <laughs> Just like, not even, you're like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. I spent my money. Goodbye. You have my money, Bungie. <laughs> you have my money. That's all you care about. That's all you care about. Remember whenever Bungie mess, used to make fun games? Like Halo Reach. Like Halo Reach. Remember Halo, Halo 3. Reach? And Halo 3 ODST. The good okay. one. Here's a real question. Out of all of the, this is the last thing we'll say about gaming, because we've been talking about gaming like the whole time. Um, Out of all of the Xbox, Xbox. Xbox exclusive style games like I don't know everything from Gears of War to Halo to so on and so forth. Sunset Overdrive. Sure. Out of all the games that you've played Xbox exclusive, which character have you? Well, I don't know. Who would you say is your favorite? Like not top top, but like the first one that comes to mind. When I think of Xbox exclusive characters. Yeah, that's like that's my guy. Dom Santiago. Dom Santiago. From Gears of War. One through three. Yeah, why, is, why wasn't he in the fourth one? Because he died. That's right, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Dom! Because I was always, my brother and I always played couch co-op together. And I always played Dom. Because he didn't want to be the bottom screen. And don't look back there. There's nothing back there. There's nothing back there. Um. But I always played Dom. I was always second player. And I just, I just really got attached to the character. Like, you get that achievement called, like, Indomitable or some shit like that. It's like, play the entire campaign as Dom. I get it. Indomitable. I don't know. I just love Dom. And hey. I think he had a very, like, his death was done very well. They gave him a hero's death. That's for sure. Okay. What, what about are, you? What are, hold on. What are the chances that you get a Dom Santiago tattoo? Is this like and you, and kind of pudgy face Gears of War three Dom or is this any, like any kind of no Gears of War two like, Dom? Do you know how this works? What are the on um, what are the chances? So I say what what's the chance that you get that and then you say a number between like out of one to like a hundred. You can't go higher than a hundred. And if we get the same number, you have to get it. All right, I'll pay for it. I won't, it won't be my first tattoo, but yeah. Okay, what are the chances? Do I pick a number in my head? You just no. You have to tell me what it's out of because if I say like it's ninety-seven, out of, it's out of one to one hundred. One to one hundred. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Thirty-six. 40. Fuck! Damn it, you were close. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Anyways, I, I don't know. I kind of as cringy as it sounds. I think out of all of them, it's got to be Noble Six. Because oh. don't get me wrong, Master Chief was the guy. He is him, Timothy. Him. But. I connected better with Six because, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of voice lines, completely customizable. He, he you know, everything, it's just customized. It's you. It yeah. feels like you were in the game. You get to be a man or a woman, customized colors, armors, everything. Sport club. And the way that they executed the game with slowly, not spoiler alert, killing it everyone on... 2012. No- <laughs> spoiler alert for a game that came out in 2012. Noble Six fucking dies. They all die. They all die except for the sniper June. dude. No, he dies later in the books. But we don't have a Halo Reach too, so I mean, let's. But we don't care. But we don't. Uh, I would. I would. Uh, no, no, don't give us Reach two. Do not give us Reach two don't because I know it. it'll be bad. Reach is glassed. It's gone. Can yeah, but there's grass on the planet and then later. The end of the point is, but let's let's move on from gaming. Tubes. How would you fix the fix the economic state of the world right now? You know, there's a lot of. <laughs> so he, that's a loaded question. That's a how loaded. the fuck do I answer that? I don't know. I don't know anything. Okay, this is how I'd fix the economy. Yeah. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. I'm gonna say it anyways. You cut the population in half. You put the other half on Mars, Elon. You need to. Oh, that works as yeah, well. You gonna Thanos snap? Him? Okay. This here's, motherfucker says Thanos is right. I, Comment down below, is Thanos right or wrong? Do you think he's right or wrong? Give us your reasons. 
I think he could have just doubled resources. All the, instead of getting rid of half the lives randomly, because say you get rid, say, like all the bad people are in one of the half. You have gotten rid of all of these good people, but you have kept all of these bad people. Like you've got rid of all these great hot nurses, police officers, lawyers, all the people that matter. Ah uh, yes, the hot nurses. And then you get I didn't say hot nurses. Uh, and then you get rid of and then, but then you keep murderers in R word. Don't say that. R worders and other bad people. Mm-hmm. And then, then then you're just then you're just full of bad people. But in, in alternatively, if you double resources, then those bad people get the resources. No, no. You double, you double resources, which then gives our boys in blue and our nurses and all of those good people more resources to do good. It gives scientists more resources to research with. It gives the military more research or resources to make peaceful options with, which I know will never happen. But it'll make more peaceful options. It, alternatively, you double resources. It does. There are pros and cons to both. Yeah. I will say there are pros and cons to doubling resources and having the population. Because I look at it this way: if you double the population, where are those people going to go? Well, oh, just we make new. We pla- aren't doubling the population. Doubling the resources. Okay, my apologies. I misspoke. Doubling the resources. That's still not going to solve. You know, the problem with the murder and the R word and the. GTA driver guy, you know, I don't know. The guy steal steals cars. Point is, is I think it, the snap was kind of a good thing because I just think he executed it wrong. It's the way you execute it. It's like I'm going to make steak for everyone, even though no one in the house likes steak, but I make them anyways, and they're all burnt. And even if the people were like, "Oh, you know, I could eat the steak," now it's all burnt. And you can't eat the steak. Hmm, yeah. So. That'd be gross. So why not? And th- that probably didn't make any sense. When he, when he snaps, which I learned how to snap, by the way. Point is, um, when he snaps, why, wh- like, I understand the equality of letting it be random, but if you really cared, you would have noticed, like, man, there's a group of bad dudes over there, and I can snap and get rid of them. Or I could take away the baby and that pregnant mother. You know, you like, see, here's what there, there wasn't any real plan he was just kind of like i have it ah! here's the well also he had an axe in his chest so you know, oh that's also true thor fucking um up. but like you think about it this way what happens to the people that were in planes when they get brought back they're just in the air no what I'm, happens to people like say pregnant mother and baby she's on her eighth month of pregnancy <laughs> baby what? yeah she she is snapped but the baby is not like, does that, do those count as two people? I think in that, in, like, cases like that. Because then you have the case where, you have okay, to, you have just now killed two people instead of just one. But because I, that baby is now dead. But then you have to look at the amount of people that are individuals. And instead of sacrificing an individual, you're like, okay, I can get a two-for-one deal. But what happens when you have a family of one, so mom, dad, child. That's three. Family of one. As in one kid. Okay. They're a family and they have one kid. Okay. So say what happens, that kid is like two, can't really take care of himself, and then both parents get snapped away. That's the thing. That's why I'm saying he executed it wrong. Because if he would have done better, do better, Thanos. That's what I'm saying. You you moved to Fortnite, and since then it's, it's just been weird. You know, I don't know what you're doing on Fortnite. I don't know why Fortnite, how are they just buying things? Like, are they just buying everything? They're not buying anything. They're getting licensing deals. Okay, license. Yeah, how are they getting licensing deals? I don't know. They're just like, hey, can we put some of your shit in our game? And they're like, okay, if you give us part of the profits, and then they negotiate from there. It's the same reason why Disney can use Spider-Man in their movies, because they make a deal with Sony, and they get, some people get, I don't know who gets what profits. I don't care how how much, or how hot people think uh, Tom Holland is. I'm Tobey Maguire. It's just, it's what you grew up off of. I mean, he's goofy. He's awkward as fuck. He's not made to be like this funny little quip one-liner like, look at me, I'm a, I'm a, oh, hop spider man. And, oh, whoops. Like, no, he's supposed to be, he, he's, if you actually read some of the comics, you'll see he doesn't have much of a, like, social personality. It's more like, I just take photos and I'm Spider-Man. But. Kind of I, sounds like you didn't read the comics. 
Oh, did I did I get that wrong? One hundred percent. Really? Yeah. He's just he's just kind of a dude. Is he the just whole, kind the of whole a... point? Okay, of, yeah, the whole I'm saying that, but Spider-Man he doesn't have like is that he was just a dude in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like the whole thing, like the whole reason people like Spider Man is this could have happened to anyone, but it happened to him. He has, I mean, he has like somewhat of a social life. He has social skills. It's just that. Jamie, cut that out. No, why are you, why are you, why? What? Anyways, Spider-Man, Thanos, Iron Man. I like Iron Man. I like Iron, Iron Man cool. too. Iron Man 2 is the best Iron Man. The one with Whiplash, and there's like three enemies and no plot. There's two enemies, and there's plot. Oh, yes, you also, you know, you count the head dude who is supposed to have powers, the but it's dude. not the head dude because The head dude. I don't remember sp- fucking 2012's Iron Man 11 or I, no I, Iron Man 2 did I not said Iron Man 11 is because I was thinking Roman Iron numerals. Man 12 I think came out in 2008 Two, because Iron Man Avengers, 12 Avengers Avengers came out in 2012 Iron Man 12 Iron Man 2 came out in 2008 I oh. said Iron Man 2 did not come out in 2012 oh Iron Man Avengers I'm, came out in 2012 I'm hard of hearing it's an good old movie. it was pretty good I will say it, it, it just I don't remember much I remember Piper Potts getting in a suit and it Piper like Piper Potts Pepper Potts, Pecker Pot. We need to stop top- talking about Marvel because you're making me look fucking stupid. I don't have to look. I don't oh. have to make you look. As soon as this camera goes off, um, it's it's on. Yeah, it's on, and we're gonna kiss. We're gonna kiss and make out and stuff. I'm so happy we didn't sign a contract. I'm returning this shit as soon as. <laughs> we're no, kiss we're... And make out and no, stuff. we're not, dude. You were saying about Pecker Potts putting her people in a pupper. She got put in a suit? Yeah, Iron oh, Man. yeah, I was like, Are you talking huh? about Iron Man 3 or Endgame? Was that Iron Man 3 where she was, no, 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 she didn't fly the suit around. It, like, grabbed her and and was like, okay, or, like, something like that. It's one of the suits that, get, like, what was it called? Yeah, the suitcase, right? And you go, and it, 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 Oh, that was Iron Man 2. Yes, but what I'm saying, isn't there a part where one of his own suits, because he has a couple suits, it, like... Kind of kidnaps her because like, they program they steal all the program for all the other suits and they blast the shit out of them. Or is that Iron Man three? I don't know. Iron Man. Iron Man three. Iron Man three. Iron Man three. Okay, so I was wrong again. But moving on from Marvel, you know, we'll just go. Hold on, I got an idea. Okay, talk about Marvel, kind of. Okay. So, in the Disney landscape right now, Disney is losing money. You want to talk about that? I'm talking about how Disney is losing so much money. I know right now. nothing because I've had a hatred for Disney for a while, but well, you can delve into I will, it. I'll I will put in my two cents. I'll say, I will run some shit by you while they're losing money, and then I want your ideas on to why that's it. happening or to fix it. Yeah. Okay. So recently, Disney has pulled out five billion, million? Nice. One, a big, big ass number of money from Marvel. Shows are getting canceled. Shows are getting turned into movies so they don't have to run as long. Shows are getting pushed back. And they've also pulled money from Star Wars. They're shutting down Galaxy's Edge. They're still in debt from the Fox buyout. They're still in debt from Hulu. It sounds like they're just not smart. And they're not. Bob Iger actually came out of retirement for like the fourth time. And now he's signed on to be the CEO until 2026. Hmm. Uh, because every time they get a new CEO, they fire them and just bring Bob Iger back. So, I mean, I guess, what do you what do you think? Like Disney, I think Disney is staying alive for for. Okay, it's the same reason why Harry Potter is still alive because you have those like <laughs> adult children that oh, yeah. that are like, that's ah, I I was oh, Harry Potter. Ah. Like it's the people that are still obsessed with that stuff. Like, not, not you know, if that's your personal preference, sure, love Harry Potter. I'm just saying, I would be able to pick Ron Reasley up and break him over my knee like like spaghetti. I don't see a single weight room. <laughs> uh, spaghetti noodle. Spaghetti! The... Yeah, yeah, skinny noodle. God damn it. Stop! The spaghetti thing noodle. the thing is, though, is like, is it really good? Are, on, are any of them really good? I'm just not a Marvel guy, not a Disney guy. I'm you can a lot of people say I'm the most negative, hateful person, and I disagree with them because I am negative and I hate that. So, 
I, I, it's just it feels like that they are just buying shit to buy shit and they're trying their best to stay afloat but at the same time they're still getting money show like they have enough money like they're losing oh what five million five billion how if it's five billion then yes i kind of understand but five million well, they made what like 200 and 900 million okay wait is that what they oh, is that what they're losing or is that what they pulled out of marvel that's currently what they're losing oh yeah they're, yeah because okay. wall street also forgot about this wall street is really mad at disney because they're losing money and you know wall street all they care about is fucking money so, yeah it's what wall street is around it's, it's kind of a market. thing it's kind of a, like their main like well, why no, wall you know street that? like like uh stocks like disney stocks exactly are crashing like we're trying to uh, you're not even listening me no, you. What? Who else would I be talking to? There's no one else in this room. I don't know. Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. I like your sunglasses. What are those, Jamie? Toss those over here real quick. Today we're reviewing Cletus. The person? I don't know. They, they say Cletus on the side. Made in Taiwan. <clears throat> He's going to review those real quick. Um... But honestly, it's just Disney is losing money. They need to get their shit together if they want to be a business. If they want to keep in the entertainment business. Fuck Disney. Fuck Disney. Talk about how bad the Flash movie was. I haven't seen the Flash movie. I haven't seen the Flash movie. That'll be in the next episode. I've heard... Did they pull it from theaters? Huh. I heard it was pretty bad. What do you mean? I heard heard people say it was dumb but fun. I heard people say it was shit. You want to know it was a really good movie? Puss in Boots. I haven't seen that movie. If you haven't seen, all right. If you haven't seen the new Puss in Boots yet, I know you've probably heard this from every person who has seen it, but it's really good. I actually genuinely enjoyed it. You know I the the animated, the, movies. the animation was really good. There was a scene where like Puss puts his sword through like underneath a giant's fingernail, and it really, it honestly made that's the only part I made me really uncomfortable. I was like, Ugh. Oh God, I don't like thinking about it. It's, it's make anyways. Quit thinking about it. I am trying, but I keep thinking about the scene because I keep trying to talk about pussy boots. The more I talk about pussy boots, the more, you know. But it was a really good movie. Uh, the Mario movie had no plot. They were just like. I also heard that movie was bad. I heard yeah. it was good but bad. It was like, this is the thing. If you're a young adult and you want to watch an animated movie. Puss in Boots. If you are a nine-year-old child, I don't know how you got here. Because I don't know any nine-year-old children. Oh, nine-year-old children. Hey, man. Anyways, you're going to want to... If you're a nine-year-old child, watch the Mario movie. Because, you know, there is this really good fucking scene. Uh, I, I'm going to steal this. Because I saw another another YouTube channel where he was talking about it. There's a scene with the where the Mario... The, the carts come out on the track. You know, Rainbow Road. All the, all the, the Mario... <laughs> Rainbow Road! Rainbow Road! <laughs> Shut up, you. It's just like Mario Kart, right? And there's apparently this scene where Peach comes up on her fucking motorcycle, and the animators knew exactly what they're doing because he said oh, in the with scene Toad? with Toad, because like she pulls up, up and then he's you see up Toad come into this fucking. It was, it was actually pretty good. That's the only part I enjoyed because he was just bumping. He was he was living his best life, but you know it was it was pretty good. And I think we were out of time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that picked up on the audio as well. So if you have headphones in and that hurt, I get well, it. But um, do, you want to, do you want to do what you yeah. want to run the uh, This wasn't necessarily a very goofy episode. I will say, like we were, we were probably goofier about two hours ago. Um, but you know, sometimes you don't. You, it's a pilot episode. We're just trying shit out. We're only gonna make Jamie. These, Love you, Jamie. We're going to try and keep them somewhere between 30 to 45 minutes because, you know, if your dumb ass is sitting here watching two mentally handicapped men talk about random shit for an then hour. Then we love you. We love you. We love you. Uh, and Love you, Gabe Hellman. And we, you know, all the support you can give is nice. Please, you know, like, subscribe, all that jazz. These are kind of going to be just rough, raw cuts of whatever we're fucking recording. So, 
Uh, but if you have topics you want us to talk about, or please, you hate us, for the love of God, comment. Comment. Tell us what you want us to talk about. If you don't have anything to talk about, start a fight in the comment. Like, insult him or insult me. And Call us mean names. We thrive off of it. Yeah, so. Um, if you guys want to see more, stick around. We're going to try and keep this somewhere between weekly and monthly. Just going to be sporadic, hit or miss kind of thing. Uh, so, thanks for checking us out. Oh, are we doing the... I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Oh, look, oh. I'm spinning. Fucking, fucking catch you on the flip side. Bye, beefs. Beef it up. Beef it up. And the stupid. God, fuck, dude. We had like nothing to talk fucking about. Fucking end it. I end it.